Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. They famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Keep that to yourself. I actually really love that Seriously, picture. though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of death. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Okay, I had to kind of wait for a good moment to start, but basically, hello and welcome to uh, Life is Strange, episode one. I'm going to do this first episode all in one big video. Um, I might do all the episodes like that. Um, I haven't really decided. I don't. I, I really don't know if I want to split it up or not. I, I I personally like sitting and watching the whole thing at once. I don't know what other people are into. So, um, I mean, if you want, you can comment below and let me know, and I will go with the majority, and you know, then we can sort of go from there. But yeah, I'm so excited to play this. I wasn't expecting to play it, but one of my friends got the season pass for me. I'm so excited. So, uh, yeah. Yay! Get excited! Um, so basically, games like this and any future games like this where you can choose dialogue options and whatnot, I will be choosing things that are closest to my own moral compass and then if I do any replays or replaythroughs, I will choose sort of extremist options just for fun, just to see what goes on. Um, even though it would be really hard for me to choose like bad guy options because I just, I feel guilty over NPCs. I just, that's just how I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so starting off with this, um, we have just seen the little opening sequence with Max having her little nightmare flashback type thing, whatever it is. And now I'm looking in her little notebook to kind of pause since we're in the classroom scene and I didn't have any other time to talk. So I'm going to read through these eight pages really quick so you can pause and read it yourself. And then um, I can just skip it or if you like me to read things out, then I'll do that because I know that there's a lot of times I don't know there's some funny stuff and I don't want to I don't want to skip that in the video so okay so first page is the prologue diary next page is people pictures there's episode two which we'll get to next uh, the map and her text messages okay page one
Okay, hopefully she does not write that much in each like update in her little journal. I'm not gonna read eight pages like every hour. Okay, so here's the pictures. I'm not reading all this. This is something you can definitely pause on. Um, just too much. Um, and something I wanted to say is this kind of journal reminds me a lot of these books I read when I was little. Um, I don't remember the protagonist's name, but it was kind of like written by a 12 year old. Um, or it wasn't actually written by a 12 year old, but it like was supposed to look like that, like it was her journal. Um, and it was just really cute because she would write and then she'd put stickers in there and she'd draw and the illustrations in the book made it look like there were actual stickers. It was kind of like those real, really realistic ones. Um, and it was just, it was so cool. I, I love stuff like that. So I don't know, hopefully I can make a journal like that myself soon. Victoria. Shush, I'm dreaming. Very cute. I really like all the little doodles she does. Okay, so that's everyone for now. And then those are the episodes. And then text. Birthday. Cute. And then mom. And Warren. Here's the guy she was writing about. What do you say? Oh my gosh. Texted me twice on the second, once on the third, twice, three times on the fifth. Do not ignore this message. That is probably something I would say to one of my friends. Inspiration. And any one of you could do that to me. Here we go again. Or Isn't that too easy? Wait, here we start. Too obvious? What if our I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. She could have taken another approach. I have to admit. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. I and Max think the word selfie is really a cute. gift. I love stuff like Of course, that. as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. That was terrible. Sorry. You should I be couldn't ashamed. resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. <laughs> Sad face. face. I love that. Very good, She's Victoria. like the bad guy, but The Daguerrean she's process brought cute. out fine detail in people's faces, she's really clever. making I them like extremely her. popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Hey. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. What's she doing? Oh. Look at this. Look at that. I don't know if anyone's seen Daydream Nation, but the teacher, Mr. Jefferson, reminds me a lot of the teacher in that movie. Although, I really hope this doesn't turn out the way that movie did. I mean, I like that movie. I just, I just want this to be different. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Look at her all slumped there. Look at that. What is she doing? Correct use of colors. Cute. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. 
I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. You're I could like, pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Mm -hmm. Someday. I really like how items get highlighted in this game. How it's all kind of sketchy. Very cool. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh, Kate. I usually don't say things like that, like calling people out on how quiet they are, but I don't know why I would have said I hope I didn't embarrass you. Like, I didn't do anything, so... I felt like it was the better of the two options, I guess. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. It was funny. It was mean to make fun of you, but she was at least clever. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I'm not gonna use it because it's not mine. Huh. This might make a cool shot. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for other pictures I can take. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I was just about to say, it's everywhere. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Shaking my head. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Alright, let's go talk to Teach. Is there anything back here? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still did. Excuse oh, me. Whoopsie. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. It's so frustrating when the mouse doesn't match up to what they're saying. And it's just like, rah, 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 rah. Open. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Always Welcome to the real cute. world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Yeah. I feel like you have to ask because Matt tells everybody to see how good she is in the She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy.
feel like this game's plot could really easily be, um, like a, a little indie movie. You know, like it makes me think of, like, Winter Passing or, I don't know, like, um, To all of like you, that. American girls, it's sad to imagine a world Alyssa is always you. texting, but she doesn't hang American out with a lot of people. I'd like to be part of the world around you. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Watching the world from the bright side. Super weird. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Ah, oh, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. A kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Walking around my own place. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Till she got tired to come play. That's when I fly. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. What the fuck is she talking about? Oh, that's a shirt from the Toy Sunny. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Okay, so I just uh, checked the audio and I noticed that it was a little bit quiet for the last few minutes. Um, so I'm gonna like tweak that throughout the episode so hopefully it's good um and just give me give me your opinion on it as we go along if you like it'd be really helpful i feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere i go today it all started with that bizarro dream in class am i going crazy Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. I love that picture. Fuck it. No, you can't tear Polaroids like that. That's not how it works. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So this is the guy that we read about earlier. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing oh, around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black well, and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. That, 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 can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Yes. Why Arvin? <laughs> Did now, it. Can you I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. <laughs> Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Let's retrace our steps. She saw when I took my selfie, right? Jefferson asked me a question. Frankly, also, nobody takes if selfies at that I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Yeah, she does. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Melissa class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? I think it's kind of funny that she's worried about not having time and she just discovers that she can rewind time. I think, I think she'll be fine. Oh, there we go. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the company. Skip. The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. So corny. The Daguerrean process you made portraiture hugely play? popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear outfit. defined features. And your adorable hair. You can learn more when you Easy. actually finish Easy. reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. 
I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Ooh, Max. Yes. Can I talk Victoria, to you? You still have to do your homework. Even if you're submitting your photo Paper for the competition, ball. everybody in class. Look. What are you waiting for? Go. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Mr. Jefferson. I'm distracted by I just shit. worked so hard in the shot. Speak. And I'm Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be concerned. Excuse me, God, Mr. Jefferson, up. can I talk to you for a moment? Skip. Or let one of photography. Skip. John Lennon. <laughs> I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Seriously, Make sure you watch finish Deidre working Mason. on it by today. I have faith. And you'll in see you. what I mean about this guy. Also, I feel like that quote is only like loosely relevant to the situation. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Here I can't go. tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Run. Do your, do your cute little run. Go. Sugar machine. Daniel, you tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science Here we go. Okay, Max. Oh, we traced every step. I washed my face. Mm -hmm. I shredded my photo. Which is impossible. Then the... Butterfly flew then again, so is returning time. And I so took a photo. Mind. Returning time? What? Reversing time. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott okay, is a go. punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? Fire what are you doing? Fire Come on, put that thing Fire down! Tell me I need a hammer to break it open! Oh, people trying fuck, to fuck, control fuck. me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Oh, that gun away from it. me, psycho! Yes. Oh, no fuck, way. I time. Don't ever touch me again, I'm freak. so fast. Run, blue hair chick. Run, blueberry head. I'm gonna call her blueberry head. Another shitty day. I'm gonna call her Vi Bo Violet Beauregard. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw it a girl is. get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? These Do not are the best freak I've out. Ever seen in a game. Okay. Ooh, what does that say? Rachel Amber's a bitch. I should probably go. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then She's trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you me. hiding something? Huh? Not something or other. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Bye. Bye, stash hole. Peace. He reminds me of that asshole big brother Chad from Weird Science. Alright, let's go talk to this guy, I guess. <laughs> I swear to god, I thought that said Principal Weenus. <laughs> hey Principal Weenus. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? Again, I'm, I'm a teenager. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. You're aggressive. Or have you done something wrong? Is that Why it? Why would he jump to conclusions like Well, that? Max, talk to me. He's so fucking forward. 
Okay, so this Nathan kid is one of the richest kids in town, and his parents donate a ton of money to the school, and apparently he has the school and, like, the cops under his thumb, so I feel like reporting him isn't gonna fucking do anything. Plus, this guy is, like, I don't know. Look at, look at how he's looking at me. He's not gonna fucking believe me right now. I just he's got sick side. in class. Um... Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. Again, and do you teenager. think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You Jesus can trust Christ. me. There's no, nothing can't. to hide. I got sick. I don't like you. It happens, you know. There's that team two again. You know, I've, team I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know this what goes on around two. here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. She's not even... I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. How the hell is he principal? Now He's so antagonistic class. about everything. Like, everything Please. must be a problem to him. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Shut up. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. There's no way. I mean, if he, if I got that bad of a fucking reaction from, like just not even doing anything and he didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt and he was just like acting like I'm so guilty there's no way I'm gonna tell the truth fuck it's so pretty this is legit what it looks like here I mean I'm in I'm in Seattle but I used to live in Portland and that's fucking exactly it it's just stupid pretty oh little squirrel Little squirrel run. Fucking music. Fuck me, this music is so amazing. Mrs. Grant. Ah, oh, fuck, I keep saying that. Miss Grant, so she's a science teacher. Hello. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Yes. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? <laughs> nice Orwell reference. <sighs> okay. See, this is frustrating because I had cameras in my high school, and honestly, I think it's like the day and age where cameras are kind of necessary. I mean, I don't like pub private things turning public, but I don't know. With how corrupt some things already seem to be, especially because it's a small town, cameras might be for the good. Just depends on how many cameras there are. So, I don't know. This is like the situation. I need to learn more about it before I can sign a petition. I don't know if I'll get another chance, but I'm going to go with don't sign. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but... Some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space oh, becomes I just said public. That. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. I don't really appreciate that. Like, I didn't make that decision just because I've been tricked. I make that decision based on... I don't... It's just... I made the... Decision based on what I just said. <laughs> I haven't been tricked. Man, she's basically telling me you can't think for yourself and you've been told what to think. That's kind of hypocritical based on what she's saying. 
Everybody is just... Oh, there's someone with her. I was like, people are laying... Look at that. Everyone's laying everywhere. What is this? You street trash? Street rats? Little hooligans? Hey, speak to me. Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex oh, Club. Christ, so posh. Not to boast. Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. Wow. And it doesn't hurt your resume. That's if exactly you say so. what elitist is. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Oh, he has a point. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like. You know. Hey, speaking of gossip. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel. Even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused. <laughs> no. Uh, Rachel's Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. Mm -hmm. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. <laughs> what do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. That's a good answer. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and oh study. We should get you and Dana out one night. He does seem unstable, but that's like, that's not the kind of thing you just go up to someone you don't know very well and be like, hey, this other guy, let's talk about him, and he seems like fucked up. Not right. Oh, I got a message. Uh, I'll meet you in the lot looking cool, you'll see. Oh my god, he's so cute! Uh, back. Okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Uh, no, I have to talk to every single person here. Open my journal. Oh, I got some more pages. Okay, let's read these real fast. to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom, but I didn't want to mention the grill or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. I wouldn't know how to tell him without it making me look crazy. So my choices kind of get recorded in the book. I'm kind of curious how different the book would look based on what my choices would be. He grilled me for being out in the hall during a fire alarm. I'm still glad I didn't have to tell him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream and then ended up with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. And then, let's see, here's Nathan, if you want to read that. And his page is covered in drugs and money. And then David, or Chad, 
fucking confederate flag, of course. And... Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, th so these are... These are the photos I can take. So this is what I sh need to look for in this episode. Okay. So... Wall of photos. There's a sunset. Uh, football's broken glass. That fucking face head thing. Broken skateboard. Uh, the van. A bird. Uh, is that like an elevator? I can't be an elevator. There's a bed in there. I don't know. I'll, I'll look for these as I go, I guess. Alright. Oh, here's one. Is this one of them? Hey, are you drinking out of out of a soda can, little squirrel? Yo. Yo. Is there a soda can somewhere? Tree. Okay. Well, I can sit here. No, I don't want to sit. I want to take pictures of crap. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. So this is a swim... swim place. Swimatorium. Whatever the fuck that's called. The pool. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ew. Ooh, uh, gross. At least switch to E6. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. True. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons. And <laughs> so this simple. is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? God, she's pretentious. A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Oh, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Oh my god, mega bitch. Search. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Alright, let's try again. Let me press you. Hi, bro. Press you, girl. Lump. It's a high fly drone. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. So You're bad. full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Because I looked in your backpack. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Oh, God. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Nice of you, thank you. The fact that she's controlling this with a tablet too. Oh. This would actually be really fucking cool to own. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> Bye. Photo. Flash, really? I need to find a fucking squirrel drinking out of Coke can. Can I get some coins? This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Can I take a photo? I don't think I'm supposed to take a photo. I have a fucking donut sitting next to me that I really want to eat and the smell of it is driving me crazy. 
so I, I'm having a really hard time focusing. <laughs> Speak. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is breathy. great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. Uh, it must piss off me, those pretentious galleries that Mark Murray, Jefferson is teaching New photography to us New black hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Ew. Ew. No way. No way. You can get him so busted. And he's not going to mess around with a student. That's what you think. Now, Nation. how do you know this? Watch that movie. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. That's nasty. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. You don't listen to other people talk about other people and take it as fact. You just don't do it. I mean, listen to them, but don't take it as fact. Go on Snopes. Get the receipts. Can't go oh. that way. Oh. Okay. Fucking calm down. Okay. God, when games like turn you around like that, like, go back! Yo, Justin. Check out the mags. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? Oh my god. You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple uh, nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. She should have said like a mech flip or something. <laughs> oh, tray flip. Alright, let's go with a tray flip. Yo, Justin. Check out the mags. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. I came to no slide. So corny. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. A oh, tree flip. Sick. You're not a poser. Yes, I am. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Tree flip. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> Uh, sucker. Hey there, pal. Photo. <laughs> That's terrible. Did he, like, bash his nuts or something? What's going on? Get the fuck up. Baby. Alright. Hey there, hey. soul batch. I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You never really escape Betty, though. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Punk friend... Uh... Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. All right. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Mm, cool beans. Very cute. Look at these little cuties. They're so cute. Being cute with your little colors and your your symbolism. Fucking sticking it to man. Bra. Cute. Are you pouting? What's wrong, Trey? What's wrong? Oh, he's pouting. Oh, I fucked up in front of a girl. I can't go on. Oh, walking into a fence. Super cool. Super smooth. Let's talk to this dude. 
Hey. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny, you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. You want to be amusing? Hey, -o. Rachel Amber. Uh, you knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Start drawing, fucker. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute. Thanks. Thank you. His shirt, oh my god. Oh, that's a good posture. That shit is ridiculous. Of course she has to pose like that. Fucking French girl. Good. Good. Creepy. Creepy. Not bad. Best portrait ever. to find a squirrel in a soda can. Was I walking through a, w a puddle? What? What? Uh, that's interesting. Let me look at those fucking pictures. Okay. Cool. So I've got those ones. Now I need... I need that fucking squirrel. Why is it saving? Clever. Oh, here we go. I think this is where I can do it. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, sorry. I won't bother you. Is that the soda can picture I get with the squirrel? I want that fucking picture. Alright, I'm gonna bother you. I need that picture, bro. Speak. Let's talk later, okay, Max? No! Fuck, did I fuck it up? That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Fuck that. Go bullies. We gotta get that Zachary dude somehow. And Logan. Oh god. Alright, here's tool bag number one over here. What's up, asshole? Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll oh, have to I'm answer sure a I'm simple not. question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. Oh, guys, so That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. No, you're not. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. Oh. I'd be honored, my sir. God. Oh, my God. Why are you sucking up to him? Six photos. Great. Super impressive. God, you are super affected, dude. You reminds me of those fucking people in that one episode of South Park that were like... This is, like, super gross, but they were, like, farting into wine glasses and smelling it, like... <laughs> it's so fucking nasty. I hate South Park, but... Shit. That's just, that's just what it is. I want that squirrel! Uh, it's probably over here with, with Sad Kid. Fucked it up. Alright, whatever. Bye forever. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. Bruh. Yeah. 
This game is so fucking. I need to go good. to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Are there any squirrels around here? No. Too much for you. Look at his fucking head. It's like a fucking paint can. It's like a thumb. Look at him. <laughs> no, bro. You can't take a picture. Bro. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Bro. Has anyone seen um, episode two of Tales of the Borderland? Tales from the Borderland. No. Bro. Bro. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Oh, I get it. Football, awesome. Bigfoot, big football. This whole town is built on puns, and it's gonna come fall apart. Come fall apart. It's gonna fall apart pretty soon. And he looks like a oh, <laughs> holy shit! Sweet, sweet. He looks like a thumb two. Thumb two. Thumb one. Bro. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, 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 bro. 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 Sweet. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. I'm psychic. Uh, you look down. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Nice. You're not. Is there anything? I totally relate sometimes. Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. No, of course. I'm leaving. I feel better. You're kind of adorable. I fucking love her hair. She's like some little old little grandma or something. She's got that grandma chic on lock. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. I will never say that again. I'm sorry. Sweet. Yeah! Yeah, it's the squirrel with the coke can. What's up? I'm really too excited about this. <laughs> Woo! I got it. Baby, she's got it. Let me stop. Oh my god, this game is killing me. Let's go talk to Alyssa. Alyssa, what's up? Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. <laughs> it's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. She kind of reminds me of my friend Allie. Hi, Allie, if you are watching this. Alright. What's up, bitches? Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Like that's what a, bad a lame thing? gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Man. Man, Since she's you a know bitch. all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? That's oh yes, Victoria. Line. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Such a good line. Look. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Can I pick up a brick and throw it at her? That would be a lot faster. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Yeah, I, don't I like just it. want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. True. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sweet. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
I'm supposed to do something with that paint. Oh, I have to do it even before this. Let's just go all the way fucking back in time, don't we? I can't grab that. Samuel uh. is way too close. He's walking right up. He can't see you. He can see you. Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, did you hear that bro in the background? Bra. Bra, 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 bra. Bra, 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 bra. bra. No way! No fucking you okay, way. Victoria? Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Okay. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Don't be so fucking mean. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. How insecure do you have to be to behave like that? And talk to people like that? I am really interested on finding out what the fuck is wrong with her. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, but there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Oh, Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. It was yeah. funny. That was mean, but pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Max looks cute. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Thank you for moving. I hope you learn how to love Victoria yourself. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. No. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Grow up, Max. Got the fucking music. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Pissed we took so long. Welcome to Black Hill. Not a very good slang name for your school, honey. <laughs> Where the hell is Alyssa? There's a few people missing from this list. Oh, bye. That's not nice. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I didn't mean to cut her off, sorry. <laughs> and I'm guessing 217 is the room that the family stayed in in The Shining. Mm. Bathroom. What's that? Stuff I don't care about. Toilet paper. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Can we pull another fire alarm? Oh, well that's fucked up. That's nice. Is this my No, my own's the other side. Ah. What is this one? Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say.
Ah, I love my little big head. They're so cute. I need to fucking copy that somewhere. That is adorable. Oh. Oh fuck, there's more pages. Okay. Exactly. It doesn't solve anything and be mean back. Principle. Alright. You can go ahead and pause and read if you want. And I see that Max's jo drone. I see that Max has drawn a picture of alcohol on his thing, so maybe she thinks he's got an alcohol problem. Oh. I thought I smelled alcohol on his breath, but that could have been his clone, right? Uh uh uh. Got a drinking problem. Okay, so I have six more photos to try to get. Under. Oh, my room is so cute. Except home, hold on. sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Oh my god, she's got a meme on the floor. She's walking on memes. This is terrible. Uh, open. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Cute. What's my message from mom? Principal sent me an email that he's concerned about your attitude and behavior and you're not fitting well. Well, fuck that. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. Ew. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Oh. Yet. She named it Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I really want to have a wall like that when I move. It's really cute. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Elliot Smith. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents Jeez. rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. She fucking ate his eye. Wait, is that Elias Smith? No. I feel like it is, but I feel like it's also fucking. Is it Jose Gonzalez? I don't know. I don't know. I need to stop. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. She has braces. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I'll borrow your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a back, just track me down where I'm. 
Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Calm down, Max. It's not gonna be that hard. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Cute. Look at all those little fucking hearts he put. He's got those pink cheeks in his profile picture. Oh my god, they were born in 1995. I am so Tiny addicted babies. to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Fat flash drive. Christ. Now can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? No. No, sweetie, I cannot. Alright, should we fuck off? Is that everything? Welcome to the real drama Should queens of Blackwell. Off. No, Julianne, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> hey, Juliet, is everything cool? You are ridiculous. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Because Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Zachary Straight won't hell. answer his phone because he's broing out in the front lawn. I swear line. I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Alright. What the hell was that noise? Is someone in somewhere? That was kind of creepy. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, her room is so cute. Look at this fucking loft ass shit. She has a couch? She has pictures of herself. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Okay. Kind of like Victoria. I do like her lights, though. Oh, God, the mirrors in this game are so good. It's ridiculous. Speaking of selfies, let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Okay, that is mean, so we're gonna back that up. There we go. Hey, but I got the picture though. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Really I cool hate poster. you, Victoria. No, you don't hate her. You're jealous. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. TV, don't care. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? Jeez. How insecure. Yeah, seriously. Cute. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Use. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. 
Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Print. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just mm. admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Okay, let's get the email. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Let's go. Look at my little big head. So cute. Urgency, Max, go. Email. Juliet, read this. Horse. I just realized I didn't even read the email myself. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I'm gonna leave that alone. That looks like a home pregnancy test. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Fucking creep. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. This is both sad and pathetic. This is both sad Oops. and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Okay, so there's a little more written on this page. So she drew Dana in the corner in the preg pregnancy test. Objective, I have to meet up with Warren in the parking lot. She actually had to, remi she actually had to remind herself. More high school drama, Juliet won't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexing Dana, so stupid. So tired from everything, and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash driver, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zack and Dana, so now... So I knew that Victoria was playing them all. So I went to Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. I'm sure you did. Let's go. Her room is a lot more, like, kind of messy and useful than my room and Victoria's room. It's interesting to see it. Also, it's really cute that she put her pom pom up on the wall. Jesus. I don't mind waiting on here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. Sass. I love it. Oh, 
this shit. Oh, oh fuck. That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Yep. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. That idiot, he doesn't even care. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's so fucking awkward. <sighs> no problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I have another picture to take. Where the fuck did that football go? Where the fuck? Oh, okay. Taking a picture of a broken glass. Rachel owes me money, pay up, bitch. Wow. Fucking aggressive. Hey, are you gonna go apologize for being a tool? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Okay, bro. Okay. Okay, thumb two. Man, you're, you're a shitty person and I don't like you. Oh. So don't think I'm the blind. Fuck? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Um, taking a photo of this would be super shitty. <sighs> it would be good to have it as evidence if I needed it, but... No, I gotta stick up for her. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. No, it doesn't Excuse look like me, it. you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. It. You're part of the problem, Missy. No, I will not. remember this conversation. Oh my god. Pathetic. What are you so grumpy about? Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but Kate. thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Aww. Kate. Poor BB. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead he is after me. He was before, me. too. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No. Helping out your friends is your business. Go to campus. Fucking pretty. Wish she could download the soundtrack. Alright, let's go count some cars. Oh, there's Dana. I'm I mean, glad I stepped Juliet. in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Let's take some peeks around. I keep seeing those fucking stupid all-seeing eye keystone bullshit everywhere. What the fuck is that? Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, I like it. Eat shit, smoke hippies. Cars equal death. Who toilet papers a bike? Someone who doesn't have anything to toilet paper otherwise? Is there anything to look at? Oh. Look at this fucking piece of shit hanging out here. In the handicap spot! Rude. Rude as fuck. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. So, this rude as fuck person in the handicap spot, taking up 500 spaces, I counted them, look at that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, is the person who's putting out the missing person posters. Interesting connection, the plot thickens. 
and their license plate is Twin Peaks. Literally, their reference. Wow. Look. Now this really pisses <laughs> me off. So entitled. Saying. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. BRKBD? Is that a fucking reference to Breaking Bad? Oh my goodness. Are all the license plate... like... TV shows? Twilight Zone and THS P R N S. What is that? Oh my god, all the license plates are fucking references to TV shows, like supernatural shows. This is so cool. No, I don't want to rewind. I was trying to run. Okay. S X F T N D R. Maybe not all of them are. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Oh, that's six feet under. <gasps> six feet under. And I'm guessing that's Broadchurch. Okay, we're checking all the cars in the parking lot now. Q and T MLP. Hmm. Quaint something. This is a really cool little detail. I'm so excited about this. I don't want to get too close to Warren though, because I'm worried it'll like trigger a cutscene. What's this one? T H P R C T C. I don't know that. Tard. That's. I have to go find up. Warren and give him back his flash drive. What's that? Parks and Rec. Oh my God, Parks and Recreation. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so they're not all supernatural shows. They're just, I guess, shows that the developers liked in general. That is freaking cool. Hold on, let me see what pictures I need to get for this episode. I need to get, uh... This RV. That was in the corner. Oh, was I supposed to take a picture of my room back there? Ooh, did I fuck up? Oh well. I need to get this RV that's over here. Can I get a picture? Ooh. Oh, I can draw. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I'm so dirty. <sighs> there, now it's officially a dirty window. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. I love her little big head. He's so cute. Okay, so what are all these shows? What is this one? Yo, yeah, Max, one. check it out. Oh, hey, cool. I can. And his is the X Files. Very cool. What is this guy? What are you? Oh no! Can I not see this one? No. Come on over here. You got lazy. Please. Shut up, dude. Uh, I'm guessing that's Carnival. I don't know what that is. And T H W R. I don't know. Very cool. Very Max. freaking cool. Dude, shut up. No, stop. Stop rewinding. No. No, no, no. Stop. God damn it. Did I undo my drawing? I did. Damn it. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. The fuck? That was that dirty. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. All right, redraw. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. There, now it's officially a dirty window. I'm begging for my finger? Jesus Christ. I gotta remember that line too. Let's see. Hmm. Yo, right. Max! Check it out! I'm here! Calm down. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? He looks like it. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh my god. Thanks. Ugh. No problem. Rejected. 
Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60 miles. You're in the miles. wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see Excuse a photo me, I'm sorry. of that. <laughs> Uh, really? Really? I wish I would have known. Uh, because I wouldn't could have taken that picture anyway. Fun just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. I'm sure you could, Warren. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Uh. We're Art science. It is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. Some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh, I've been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. There's no way I'd Damn, lie. girl, you had it like a year. <laughs> for a week, I did browse through all the titles, oh, Drama Queen. I thought you actually had ha, it for a year. Ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. Yeah, I'm sure. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good. Unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. Uh, the right girl will, too. He's so if cute. I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience He's in so Mr. Jefferson's her. class today. So cute. I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? Oh, God, I'm one of the students. Again. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now. Answer me, bitch! What are you oh talking about? God. I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. I do know Then that. you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. <laughs> Worry That's about not yourself, a fucking good thing to say, dude. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Yeah. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away yes, from I it, am. dude. Fucking cloth. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Oh my god. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> oh my god, I would have decked him. Twin Peaks. Rude handicap asshole. Max. <gasps> Chloe? Oh shit, it's no way. Blueberry Head. You again. Warren, I forgot oh, what I called her. Oh, I got this. Oh my god, Warren, Get you do not got this. Oh, he's getting Get spanked. Get your punk ass this out of there now! Oh my god. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Oh my god. Nobody! He needs to fucking lower his dosage. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. That was my Elvis and impression. Dangerous. <laughs> This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Oh my god, look at it on the Don't back of the rearview mirror. Face. At least pretend you're glad to it's see you. It's a fucking meme face. I'm seriously glad to see you. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Oh, and it's that fucking... It makes perfect sense I'd see I you today. Thing. Yes, it's Chloe's been, been that kind them. of day. Sorry, so I gotta shut up. what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Yeah, he did. One? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. 
and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia Don't say again. That. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. So pretty. That lens flare. Er, no, there wasn't a lens flare, it was just a light rays. Just still. Oh fuck, I forgot about my camera. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Right? Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. She kind of, Chloe kind of, kind of reminds me of a cross between Jane Lane from Daria and, um, like, Rory from Gilmore Girls. So far, at least. Twin Peaks. God, I still can't get over those fucking license plates. That is such a cool little touch. I'm sure there's a bunch of references I'm missing. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Tenderloin. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. It won't play without any power. some CDs. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. What does she have on her desk? I think this junk swallowed her discs. Okay, so she doesn't have any music? Laptop, desk, poster, trash can, poster. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Search. Oh, there's a photo. Oh. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. 
I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yes. Poor Chloe. CD. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I know that face, Chloe. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Oh, this is a flashback to you. Our super secret closet lair. We had such a blast drawing these together. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. You look like a thumb too. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. I'm singing some. You look at other photos I need to take. I need to take sunset, a bird, and a picture. What's a teddy bear on it? A friend. About the future. <laughs>
This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Good girl, Chloe. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. Ooh, Prozac. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. You do? <laughs> Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Wait, does Max not realize that the guy is that... God, I can't articulate myself right now. Does Max not realize that the security guard is the same person as this David Madsen dude, like the one that Chloe's mom is dating. It's the same person. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Okay, I've spent so long doing this that the music stopped. <laughs> Hi, Birdie. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Love, Blue Jay. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Nope. Is that it? Okay. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joyce still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. 
We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Dirty clothes. Right, let's go back inside. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. Now she figures it out. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Nope. Nope. Yes! Score! Oh, right there. Boom! Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Just like in those old games where you have to get the key through the lock, so you push the newspaper underneath. Skip. Now I do it. Oh, fuck, they're still in there. There we go. Oh my god, slow. Okay. Now I push. There we go. Yes! You have mad skills, Max. And let's turn it off. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. It's not too many cameras. It doesn't actually seem that invasive. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For real? On the other hand, is this too guy invasive. has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? <sighs> Let's see what other creepy shit he's got. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. I already have the tools. I wish I could fucking find a password to open this shit up.
just food. I wonder what's in those files up there. Oh my shit! God, you keep knocking shit Butterfingers! Down. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? She knows something. Okay, this is getting totally weird. What would she know? That's super fucked up that he's following her. What is he so paranoid about? Okay, let's see. put this back up there. Okay, I think it's... I think it's back to normal now. Gross. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Mm-hmm. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Cool, now it's opened. But I shut this off. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Weird. She no. looks super happy. Not the laptop. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> Tools. There we go. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. It's the second time I just took a ninja. butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. Huh. So you <coughs> must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. Mm. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered so my nice. birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. Mm -hmm. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. 
This day couldn't get any stranger. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, no. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Oh, Don't fuck. get smart. Just... What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Hide, hide, hide. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Okay. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, yes. weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't, I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell oh, record. Fuck. I just felt wrong as they had You hadn't. do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. <laughs> oh, shit. I was a soldier, Chloe. Whatever. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Okay. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Let's go. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. 
This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's look for that bird. Look for that picture we were supposed to take. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I got you. Hey, what's up? Okay. Okay, I just need one more. I missed a different one though. Can't go back for that. People can be such pigs. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Cute squirrel. little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. Mm, fucking cute. Lighthouse. More trash. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. This is the picture I need to take. What do I take? Do I just do this? Yeah. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Is that a reference? Because I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Oh, there's a little boat! It's a skinny ass boat. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Trying to put this. There's more stuff. Haiku. A tree haiku? How pretty. I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> There's a little boat. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. That's he's a cool. total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. 
What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He is so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now, I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is Destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh shit. Oh no! Not again! Why is this happening to me? Am I here again? Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. October 
11? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh my god, the second I start hearing this song, I get chills. Oh no. If anyone wants to know, it is Obstacles by Lizzie Matters. Straight straight it's straight such down. a good song. Oh man, Max looks so sick. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Shot or something? I just realized that he was on a ladder inside the ladder. Window. Window? What the fuck? Warren, with this black eye. Oh, and Kate. Fucking. Why is she crying? This is. This is upsetting. Rachel's name at the end of a bunch of binders. Refresh. There we go. Okay, so this is worldwide stats and this is friend stats. Okay. So. I have one friend who's played this, so this is just comparing the two of us. World stats are a little more interesting though. Let's see. So more people reported Nathan. More people comforted Vict Victoria. That's good to know. More people intervened to help Kate. More people came out of hiding to intervene. Even pretty even split of people who let Daniel draw my portrait. Uh, slightly less people didn't sign the petition. A good chunk of people helped Alyssa. Half and half split erased Kate's results. Seventy percent watered your plant. The vast majority didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. I feel like that's because it was a little bit out of the way. Maybe people didn't notice it. Most people didn't touch Victoria's photos. Again, probably because it was out of the way. I don't give people the benefit of the doubt with that. <laughs> Not like it's a bad thing. It's just a game. Uh, less people wrote on the dirty RV. Again, out of the way. With less than half people saved the bird. Most people didn't break the snow globe. 
Most people read David's files. Most people didn't leave any evidence. Very interesting. So... Me and my friend... did everything the same. <laughs> oh no, we did a few things differently. That's cool. Next time on Life is Strange... Okay. Thank you very much for watching episode one of Life is Strange. I had to tweak the audio a bit throughout this playthrough. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I can get it right next time. Um, I think I, I think I tweaked it enough that it sounds as good as it's going to get for now, um, which isn't that bad. Anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And goodbye.